I'm sorry, but I think the whole scheme's a load of nonsense. I wanted to do something exciting when I was young, and then I married Andrew, and that was the end of that. <laughs> what you're doing now, that's really exciting. I don't know whether you'll succeed, but just trying is exciting. Felicity, you've got it in one. Well, I'm sorry. I've said all I'm going to say. I've said all I'm going to say. And I'm not going to say any more and have my head bitten off again. <laughs> Anyone fancy a game of hide-and-seek? Yes. <laughs> Let's forget it and relax. Tom, Barbara, why don't you stay for dinner? We're going to have it out here. Oh, thank you, Jerry. That's lovely. After all, it is the least we can do. I beg your pardon? Well, times are obviously very hard, and we've got plenty of food here. We don't need Oxfam relief. <laughs> I am not unobservant, Tom. I do notice things. Are my flies undone? <laughs> I am referring to Barbara this morning. Now, I didn't want to bring this up in front of other people, but begging leftovers is hardly a sign of affluence. Do you mean that shepherd's pie? The rustic pot roast. You did ask me. True. Well, I rest my case. It was for the chickens. And they didn't like it. <laughs> well, it's surprising. One doesn't get one's A-levels in domestic science by cooking meals to please chickens. Yes, be fair. I mean, Margot's a first-rate cook. Mostly. <laughs> Margot, tell them what we're having for dinner tonight. I don't really know that I want to. All right, don't. We're having asparagus and canard a la paysanne. Hey. Eh? <laughs> Duck pieces. Really? Where do you get fresh asparagus from at this time of year? One has contacts. Oh, yes, the freezer centre. <laughs> Honestly, Margaret, it was not Very well, off. Barbara, throw my food in my face. Oh, Margaret, we're not insulting your cooking. It's just that you're treating an invitation dinner like war on what? Oh, for heaven's sake, all they're doing is offering you a helping hand. Well, you stay out of this, Andy. I see anyone would think we had to eat at the seaman's mission. Exactly. In fact, and this is why we can't stay to dinner, we've got something a bit special laid on the food line ourselves tonight, haven't we, Barbara? Haven't we, Barbara? Yes. See? You're bluffing, Tom. This is no bluff, mate. We've got something a bit special laid on tonight. What? Pardon? <laughs> I said what? Never you mind. Something a bit special. It's very special, actually. And I'll tell you this, it'll all be fresh and home-produced. None of your asparagus lolly ice from the fridge and some poor old duck that's lost its quack. <laughs> I certainly don't mind if you slaughter that disgusting goat. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look. The sun's coming out. <laughs> Must be the influence of us little flowers. No, oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't mean to be ungracious. Well, heaven help us when you do, Tom. Now, look here, Mrs. Beaton. Oh, Barbara, please. We must make allowances for Mum. After all, she's got A-level domestic science to live up to tonight. That's not going to be too easy when you're working with a dodgy tin opener. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got a little feast of our own to whip up. Coming, darling? Good evening, all. Evening. Well... Honestly, I could strangle Margot sometimes. I'm sorry, love, I just couldn't control myself any longer. Well, never mind. At least you got the last word. That's not easy with Margot. Yeah, I excel at hollow boasting. I mean, we haven't produced anything yet, have we? All we've got is subterranean veg and sterile chickens. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? We gave that back to the goat, remember? <laughs> the Matabele eat giant wood grubs, you know. Silly sods. <laughs> <laughs> well... Perhaps it'll rain. That's not going to make the potatoes grow in two hours, is it? No, but it'll keep them off the patio. We could skulk about in here and eat a packet of chicken chow me. Hey, what are we thinking about? We'll kill a chicken. Fresh roasted chicken. Dan. Yes, Doris? <laughs> now, that's not good Ambridge thinking, is it? I mean, you don't kill off one twelfth of your stock not after six hours. Quite right, Doris. Especially not just to prove a point. Quite right. Well, we don't have to prove anything to anybody. If she wants to sit up there all smug and victorious, let her. Yes, let her. You'll kill a chicken. Right. <laughs> go on, then. Me? Oh, no, no, no. I told you, I'll go bankrupt with you. I'll starve with you. But I couldn't kill a chicken to save my life. Fair enough. I'll do it. <sighs> go on, then. Yes, well, look, you don't just dash into these things. You know. <laughs> You've got to have method. For... Method, yeah. Now, look. You take the chicken by the legs and hold it upside down, right? <laughs> Automatically, it puts its head on one side. <laughs> you put the chicken on the table, push your knee in its neck and pull. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Just like that. There's a lot of the papa dock in you. Oh? You simply wring its neck and feel the bones cracking in your hands. <laughs> Here. You saw the seven samurai chop its head off. Hoi-ta! <laughs> but then the headless body runs down the garden, oh. all quivering in a gushing blood, no. and chases you round the oh, table. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, Jim, no. Ah. Let's get it more funny. Ah, no, no, seriously, seriously. I've got it. <laughs> now, there's no need to shoot yourself just because you can't kill a chicken. <laughs> all Surbiton Air Pistol champion at the age of 11. I could do it with this. I've never heard of anyone shooting a chicken before. It's an old mafia trick. <laughs> All right, go on then. Only don't kiss it first. Chicken, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> Okay, sweetheart, nobody moves. <laughs> Close your eyes. I do hope you're not the one with the limp. <laughs> hope nobody will gag at pretty mar meat. <laughs> Looks just like the illustration on the tin, my dear. <laughs> I did want to apologise to you, sir, for this afternoon's little fracas. Oh, no, there's only to apologise, Jerry. Quite amusing in its way. Well, it's absolutely mad, of course. Still, it's his, um, life. Funeral. Nevertheless, <laughs> was rather a petulant display, wasn't it? I mean, all those wild claims about this fantastic home-produced meal they're supposed to be having. Well, really. <laughs> I've laid out all the best silver, darling. I've lit the candles. Are you ready? Just finishing the garnish, darling. Ah, magnificent. Nothing from the supermarket here, eh, darling? God forbid. Will you carve, darling? Rather, darling. Anyway, we know how to make them lay now. Scare them into it. 